and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new stamp set, How You Bean Buttons Add-On and its coordinating dies. This buttons add-on is a perfect match to our original How You Bean stamp set and they are so cute together, so let's check it out. First up we have this adorable pile of buttons, then we have an individual button in both a solid and outline style. We have some other fun and cute accessories. So we have this adorable little heart, then we also have a needle, and then thread in this adorable heart shape. This set has some really sweet sentiments. So it has, you're so amazing. And then we also have, I'm so thankful for you. And you are cute as a button, which is my favorite one. We also have this large phrase buttons, and this is meant to go with the original label and the original How You Bean stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp that label out, and you can see just how adorable this is. When you stamp the label, the word buttons in it fits perfectly, and it's just super, super cute on the jar. Then next up, of course, we need to stamp out our How You Bean jar so you can see what that cute pile of buttons looks like on the inside. And isn't that just too sweet? This is just so much fun. And so now it's time to add some color with our Copic markers. I absolutely love coloring in these buttons because you can get so creative with your colors. And in this case, I was inspired by the really rainbow pattern paper to do some really bright, fun, rainbowy colors. Now this pile of buttons is super, super cute in the jar like we stamped out earlier, but it's also really adorable as just a random pile of buttons that you can use with the So Very Mice mice. It's absolutely adorable. And I'll show you a card at the end by Audrey that shows that in action. When I color these buttons in, I like to make the little outside part a little bit darker. That way it looks almost like three-dimensional when buttons have that little rim and then the bottom part is kind of indented. Does that make sense? So I feel like it just gives it a lot of, lot of really cute dimension. And so now I've added some pink, some yellow, some turquoise. We're gonna throw in some purple and I'm actually only gonna do one button purple and I really like that because it almost makes that purple stand out more. And then we'll add our little orange in as well to kind of fill in our rainbow. That blue Count, kind of counts as green and blue at the same time. These are the coordinating dies, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're gonna line them up with these stamped images, hold it in place with some low tack tape. We'll run it through the die cut machine and we'll have perfectly cut out images every time. Then here is a look at these adorable images. They are so sweet. And of course you can take that little heart shaped thread and you can add it to the needle just like this. And later on, I'll actually show you how to thread that needle. And then the other thing that's really great is seeing this with the How You Bean stamp set. So we have a lot of add-ons for this stamp set. Of course the original comes with jelly beans. We have stars and hearts and um, adorable Christmas cookies. So many fun things. And now we have these really sweet buttons that you can see just look so super cute in this jar. And so now, it's time to start creating a card with this and we are going to start off with a shaker card. The original How You Bean stamp set has both a coordinating die and a shaker add-on and we're going to be using that shaker add-on today. So we're cutting one plain white piece and then we're going to go ahead and stamp that cute little jar from How You Bean and we're going to die cut it with the shaker add-on which is going to create kind of like a jar shaped frame. So you'll see how that die lines right up there. We can hold it in place with some low tack tape and then we'll run it through the die cut machine and we'll have this cool little frame that's going to help us create a shaker. Then to create the look of glass, I'm just gonna take a light blue marker and just add a little bit of color on the inside of the stamped image and I feel like that's just gonna give it a little extra something. Now you can create your shaker either with foam, you could even die cut some fun foam from the craft store or use your foam strips and squares. But my favorite way is to actually cut a bunch of those frames out of white cardstock and stack them up for height. And so that's what we're gonna do. So we've got the plain one there at the bottom and then we're going to take these frames, the ones that don't have the stamped image, we're gonna add some liquid glue on the back with the glue tube and then we're gonna layer that right onto the base. Now before we add too much height, we're gonna add those cute little buttons that we stamped colored and die cut earlier right into the jar, right in between that frame. And then we can go ahead and start building up the rest of the height. So we'll add some liquid glue on the back of one of those pieces and we'll stack it on top. And we're just gonna keep stacking those up until we have a nice height for our shaker little bits to move around in. 
I'm going to add one last frame and then we're going to start working on creating the shaker. And so we need to use some acetate for our window. So I'm going to die cut some acetate with that plain jar, not the frame one, but the plain one that comes in the shaker add-on. And that's going to give us a little acetate window that's the same shape as that little jar. And then I like to use some strong tape to attach that window. So I'm going to add some eighth inch double sided tape all of the way around that frame. But before we attach our window, we need to add something into our shaker. And my first thing that I love to do is to take an anti-static powder tool and just go all along the inside of those frames to make sure if there was any extra tackiness left over from that glue, that powder is going to remove that tackiness or stickiness and my little glitter is going to be able to move around more easily. And I'm going to be filling this with some chunky glitter, which is so fun in shakers. So I'm going to add a bunch of chunky glitter there into my jar and then now I can peel up that liner paper on the jar and then once that's all exposed we can add the acetate piece on top and that's going to trap all of that glitter inside creating a really cool shaker. Then the last step for the shaker is to add the frame that has the beautiful decorative jar stamped on it. So I'm going to add that same eighth inch double sided tape to the back of that frame that has the stamped image on it. Then we can peel up that liner paper and we can attach that frame on top and that's going to finish off the whole thing and it looks so cute with that glitter inside. I am just in love with this little shaker. It's absolutely adorable. And now you can see I'm going to kind of shake it around and you can see that glitter just move everywhere and it just looks absolutely amazing. It's just so happy and sweet. The How You Bean stamp set comes with a little jar lid. So I'm going to add some tape runner to that and then layer that on top of the jar. And then we're going to start working with some pattern paper. And I said at the beginning that I was inspired to color by the Really Rainbow Paper Collection. So I'm going to take a look through there and find a fun striped rainbow piece. We're going to die cut that with the largest of the small stitched rectangles and then I'm going to take the second largest of the large stitched rectangles, it's a little easier when you see it there, and we're going to die cut a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to layer these two pieces on top of each other. And right now I am recreating a card by Callie, so thank you so much Callie for this gorgeous shaker card. Once we have that white piece layered on top, we're going to take a standard size card base and then we're going to have another layer. And I really liked the layers of the rainbow kind of sandwich between the two pieces of white cardstock. It felt just really clean and happy. So we're going to layer that on top of the card base and now we can start to add our stamped images and our shaker on top. But first up, I wanted to stamp out the thread and the needle from the set. And this is a really fun place to use some different colors of ink. So I'm going to stamp this in some wild rose ink, the little thread and then the needle I'm going to stamp that out in some hippo ink and then I'm going to use the coordinating dies to die cut both of those. Something that I loved on Callie's card was that she actually thread the needle with that cute string. And so the way I'm going to do that is to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut out the opening top of the needle with the X-Acto knife. And so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of created like a tiny little rectangle and I just kept kind of hacking at it with the X-Acto knife. And then once I had that opening all done, I can take the thread and thread it right through. And you're going to see just how cute this is. So I'm going to take that kind of little hook done then there and you'll see as it comes through that needle, oh, Oh, absolutely adorable and that's going to be a super cute decoration on the finished card. But before that I need a sentiment and so we're going to be doing some white heat embossing on some black cardstock and so I'm going to use an anti-static powder tool to make sure that my embossing powder is only going to stick to my clear embossing ink. And so I'm going to stamp in this nice sticky ink onto this black cardstock and then I'm going to take out my white heat embossing powder and I'm going to sprinkle that on, top off any of the excess, and then heat it up with my heat tool until I have a nice bright white shiny sentiment. And I'm going to use my paper trimmer to just trim a little rectangle around the sentiment. And that's a really nice way to create a sentiment. I also really like the look because it kind of reminds me of those little like Dymo labels. I think it's really cute that way. So now I have all of my fun images and we're going to start off with the shaker and I'm just going to add some tape runner to the back of that and then we can layer that right on the card. So super cute. And then we're going to work on the sentiment and what I thought another thing that was super cute on this card by Callie was that she layered the buttons kind of around the sentiment. So I'm going to add some little foam squares on there and I actually have some black foam squares which I think look really nice because it kind of blends in with that sentiment and I'm going to layer the buttons behind the sentiment and I think it kind of helps ground it um, and and makes it just look so super cute. So I'm going to add the pink one there at the bottom and then we'll add one more button for good measure. 
And then the last final detail is to add that super cute needle and thread. So I'm gonna add some tape runner on those and then layer it right over the jar. And now this card is all done. It's so sweet. I love the shaker element. It's just so much fun with all of that glitter in there. Just adorable, so happy and so cute. And next up, Shari is gonna create the cutest card featuring our So Very My stamp set and the How You Bean buttons. So take it away, Shari. I will be using my How You Bean button add-ons with the original How You Bean set. So I've stamped the jar and the label, and then I'm going to be adding some of the elements from this new set to those images. So of course, we have this really fun buttons font that can be added to the label. And then I will add my buttons to the jar here in just a little bit as well. But before I do that, I'm stamping the little needle that comes in that set in some manatee ink. And then I will stamp the little thread that goes into a little heart in some guava ink. This is just a really fun way to use these images that are not going to be colored and use the colors of your ink. Now I did pull images from So Very Mice as well as Sewn With Love to use on my card. Sewn With Love has a little button that works really well with the big individual button in the How You Bean button add-on. And then for my buttons in the jar, I'm actually going to have my jar turned on its side like the buttons are getting dumped out when it's on my card. So I'm turning my paper so I can line up my buttons to where they look like they're kind of on the side of the jar if it was turned on its side. So it's a little bit different than if the jar was right side up. So once I have that kind of where I want it, I'm gonna pick it up with the door of my Misty and just stamp these buttons directly into the jar. And of course, I will cut these out with the coordinating dies. Now for the background of my card, I thought it would be fun to pull out the stitched ripple backdrop die. I've cut a piece of the yellow stripes and sprinkles paper, and then I'm just going to add some sunflower ink around the edges and make this a bit brighter yellow. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because I will be putting this little strip of the blue dot from the same paper collection along the bottom. So I'll just add that right to the bottom there and I'll trim off the excess with my scissors. Then I can add this whole panel to a card base. And then I will be ready to start assembling my little scene. Now I want to start with my largest image, which is the jar of buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and put that label on the button jar and then add some foam squares to the back. And this will get placed on the right side like it's dumping the buttons out. This was a really fun kind of idea from a card that Maureen made. So thank you, Maureen, for the idea of turning our buttons on their side. And then I'm going to start to place my little mice around. I like this one standing up on the spool so he's a little taller. I'll put something in his hand that's raised there as well. And then I like this one holding this button. This is the smaller button that's from Sewn With Love, but it's big when the mice hold it and I think that's super cute. And i placing it so it looks like this little mouse is pulling it out of the jar. I also like that one with the thimble on his head sitting on top of the jar. I like to think that he was instrumental in turning this jar over so that they could get the buttons out. <laughs> and then I'm just sprinkling around some of the other individual buttons that I cut out and colored. I also have that thimble and I just think it's fun to make a little scene with all these sewing items around with the mice mixed in. So I'll pop him up on some foam and then I have this really fun tomato pin cushion that I'm going to put in front. I'm going to add this other big button and this thimble around him and kind of create a cluster of objects. And then I can add that really big purple button to his hand. So I think it's really fun to have these oversized items in the hands of the little mice. I'm going to add one more up with my little guy with his thimble on his head. And then those other two, I'm just gonna to leave to the side. I am gonna use one of them, but I wasn't sure how many I needed. Now for the sentiment, I'm using the sentiment in this set that says you are cute as a button. And I'm just stamping it on a piece of mermaid cardstock. 
Then I'm going to use one of these sentiment banner dies and I'm going to write justify this on that banner because I'm going to have it come from the left side of the card and I'll just trim off the extra tail that's on the left. So I'm just lining this up so my sentiment is nice and centered. I'll run that through my die cut machine and then I'm putting some foam squares behind the sentiment, not on the area that's going to overhang this side. And then I'll just place this towards the top and I'll trim off the excess. Now here's where my little thread comes in. So you can see I stamped a second one because I wanted it to look like this thread was kind of around that sentiment banner. So I'm adding some liquid glue to this whole one. I'm gonna tuck the tail underneath the banner and then let the heart overlap it. And this is where I'm adding that little button like it's hanging there by the thread. And then I'll add the needle and a piece of that other piece of thread above it. So I'll just trim off that little loop there. And I'm doing this so that it looks like the thread is continuous and it goes underneath the banner and comes out the top. And we've got the button on one end and we have the needle on the other. And I just think that's a really fun little detail. And then of course, I always have to add some glitter. So I'm just adding some glittery accents to the sides of some of the buttons, not the whole button itself. Of course, it always looks good on the needle because that is metal and the little thimbles. And here is my finished card and I just think it turned out so adorable. I really love that stitched bright background and all these fun colorful buttons everywhere. This card is too cute, Shari. I love that stitch background. It's such a cool idea. And next up, we have some amazing cards by the design team. And here, I love how Tammy combined this with the adorable elephant parade stamp set to create kind of like a baby theme card. And she did one in pink and blue. And I think these are just so sweet. And then next up, I have that card by Audrey I told you about earlier where she used the buttons without the jar. And it looks so cute with so very mice. This card by Maureen is just adorable. It's a little reveal wheel where the buttons move back and forth and those little bears are so cute with the buttons in the jar. And then here, Maureen also blew me away by creating the cutest slim line. I love the pink and orange and how she combined how you beam buttons with sewn with love and so very mice. And then here is the card by Callie that inspired me to make mine today. I love how she added that little twine bow at the top. And then this card by Kara just blew me away. I loved how she added the little stitching lines to the elephant parade elephant on top of the buttons. So sweet and cute. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with How You Beam Buttons add-on. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.